This is the Farm Chief YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching us. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much. Hope we're giving you good things. Hope we're inspiring you guys. Remember, we are saying we are inspiring the next generation into farming. I told you this time round, 2023, 2024, and other coming years, I don't want to hear anyone saying that I'm making losses in farming. No. I don't I, I I want to stop that song, right? <laughs> My name is Dipatoka Telega, the farm chief here at the farm chief college. Uh, we're having another demonstration garden here, and that is for cabbages. Remember, under the family cabbage, uh, we have the heritage uh, that is also a smooth high dome heads uh, with a tight bibbed. Uh, you can also get it. We have a cabbage called Victoria. It's also very, very good for those farmers who want to engage themselves into uh, cabbage farming. We're having another, another, another good variety that is cabbage blue dynasty. I've ever tested this also. I've ever tested Gloria. So I wanted to show you what is the best for you my good viewers my fellow farmers here at the farm chief college so today we're going to still talk about the good seeds how to do it you're going to see them how many kilograms can come out of a blue dynasty cabbage how many kilograms can come out of a victoria cabbage and other other types of cabbage my name is dipatoka telega as i've told you so i'm here still with the one and only, the number one seeds distributor in Uganda, uh, Faith Agro Inputs Limited. Uh, they are located in Container Village. I think Container Village, uh, as I've told you, that's where they are located. Ambrose, yes, please. we are back at the Farm Chief. Welcome once again. Well, today we are here with, for our dear cabbage farmers. Mm. Basically, there are three varieties. Mm. Now, as our, our first mandate is to ensure that we save our dear growers from the hassle and bustles of looking for the market. Now, the first one is cabbage auxillas. The advantage with the cabbage auxillas is, number one, it is very fast maturing. Very fast maturing. You try, okay, no, normally cabbage we, we first plant in the nursery bed for three weeks, then we transplant. Mm. After transplanting, 60 days you are ready to hit the market small small ambrose yes please do we count the 60 days from the day we do we start our nursery bed or we count the nursery the 60 days after transplanting in farming in farming we do not count the nursery bed yeah it's like when you are counting the number of years you have you don't count the nine months <laughs> <laughs> but remember you in existence even before the nine months i know so now nursery bed it's not is that time is not counted is the incubation period whereby we look after the seedling and then transplant now in farming life begins at transplanting because at transplanting we believe the plant is able to fend for itself the plant is able to bring out its potential the plant is able to utilize all the nutrients that we provided for in the soil. Mm. That is after transplanting. Therefore, when you are doing all the crops, life begins at what? Transplanting. So therefore, when you are doing cabbage auxillas, the day you transplant, you start counting day number one up to 60. It is ready for harvesting. Now, when you look at this cabbage here, where, where we are today, this one is now 70 days. Mm. Now, hey, 70 ten, days? Yes, 10 extra days it has started showing signs of getting bad, as in they started cracking. Mm, I can see this one. Because they it's already cracked. Trans, to, to, to have been harvested mm. 10 days ago. And now, this is a very good variety for farmers who have ready fresh market. Ah. Okay? For growers who have ready fresh the market. The Blue Dynasty? Say, no, the, the Oxlas. Let's say you this are, is Oxlas. Yes, let's say you are supplying schools, you are supplying uh, institutions, mm, uh, hospitals. hospitals. This is the way to go. This is where to invest and very, very get very good money. And then, as Faith Agro inputs, remember our number number one mandate is we guarantee you quality product from the beginning. Number two, we guarantee you market. As in, we are not going to do the marketing for you. But the varieties that we, we, we 
Mm. It makes its it, own it, market. It, it has already made its mm. own market. So for those farmers who, don't, who are fed that with try and error, kindly eh, think no further, look for where Faith Agro is, and then you'll be able to get the right varieties, market-centered. Yeah, market-centered varieties that can really perform. Now, the second one is Cabbage Blue Dynasty. Cabbage Blue Dynasty. So this is Blue Dynasty? Yes. This was? This, this is Oxillus. Oxillus. Cabbage Blue Dynasty, we look at uh, people who are planting in far areas. That is, market that, uh, a variety that can withstand long transportability. This is a variety you can harvest and transplant to Port Sudan, in Sudan. The Blue Dynasty? Yes. And it reaches there and as if it, it, you, you can harvest, transport it for two weeks. When it reaches the market, you might think that it was harvested yesterday. This is the Cabbage Blue Dynasty. Now, the advantage with all cabbages, mm. they are resistant to what? Black carrot, commonly known as Cassandra. So now, dear farmers, if you are tired of cassandra, look for where Faith Agro inputs is so that you are able to either get cabbage auxiliars. That is, if you have red fresh market or you are calculating during the dry period when you think that now uh, the, the beans are not in uh, plenty, when the cabbage it is too dry and farmer, most farmers cannot produce cabbage, go ahead and plant cabbage auxiliars because number one is drought tolerant. Mm. It, 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 it resists a sunburn. Mm. That's why it has been dry in mm. this place. We've never received rain for all the mm. months. And it is in perfect shape. So therefore, our dear farmers, this is the only way you cannot gamble about farming. So as Faith Agro inputs in partnership with the farm chief, we are here to assure you that you will never go wrong uh, on, on your product selection, you'll never go wrong, you'll never get uh, funny, funny restrictions during the marketplace. When we, you partner with us, we are here to give you an open blank check so that you write uh, whatever figure you feel like you can write in order to get money. Remember, the objective is to transform from peasantry to money economy. To money economy. Money economy, you are growing for mm, the market. Yeah. And the market does not uh, entertain uh, mediocrity. Market gives you what you deliver. Yeah. Market has standards. And the only way to uh, beat the standards is to partner with Faith Agro Inputs, the cabbage is Blue Dynasty F1, Oxillus F1 and Victoria F1. Remember, Blue Dinas F1 mm. has a slightly longer growing period because it is strongly uh, resistant to black rot. Mm. Blue Dynasty, you need 90 days to harvest. It is mature now. Like when you look at this one, you know, we never planted them on the. This one is already, the way you see it. Mm. It's already 70 days. We still have more extra 20 days. Uh, uh, 20 so days. Mm. Yeah, so but at least even now you can pick some, eh? You can't pick because it has not attained uh, the 90 days. So what we call upon our farmers is, when you, let's say you are planting in uh, Nomo Chitogo, mm. water catchment areas, yeah? Mm. The best variety to grow is the blue dynasty. Blue dynasty. Because in Chitogo is full of a uh, cocktail of, of uh, diseases. You know, mm. it is a, a collection center yeah? for all impurities. And those impurities are one of, the, one of the things that causes black rot. So therefore, if you have such a place, the cabbage to grow is blue dinners. Mm. And then the last one... Mm. Before you go, before we, we proceed to the last one, that is yeah. Gloria cabbage, yes. Yes. Uh, you have differenti uh, differentiated for us, uh, we farmers, we growers, or, uh, the difference between... Uh, he has said that uh, this... This one matures in 60 days. In 60 days, they are called? Oxillus. Oxillus and uh, blue dynasty. These are best those who transport from those far, far, far distances. This is best for long distance. Long distance. Whereby you will harvest uh, cabbage. To Juba. Take it to Juba. It reaches to Juba one week down the road and you might think that it was harvested in the morning. 
Mm. You understand? Yet this, this one, they can't do that. Uh, near, near, by. Because it cannot mm. be transported long distances. You understand? Mm. Yes. You get very them quick, from. Yeah, very quick, but a little bit highly perishable. Mm. But extra one month, but it can give you extra mileage. This is, in other words, this is a heavy duty. And for serious farmers who want to make good money in cabbage farming, good dynasty. This is your area of key interest. But you've told us it's not good near Chitogo. No, it is very ideal. Yeah? It is very ideal. It's the only cabbage that can be planted in Chitogo in water catchment, in low area, low mm. lying mm. areas and you escape scot-free. The rest of the cabbage will have so many uh, diseases. Remember in the low-lying areas, that is where there is a, a black mo diamond back moth, mm. the, ca the, ca the, the, casa the, the cassandra, the kayan the kayanzi. Not the kayanzi, they talk of uh, kawojolo. Yeah? The, the, this this, this ca butterfly that perforates the leaves, yeah? perforates the leaves. Mm. Yeah, but those one can be controlled. And then the one thing, when you look at all these cabbages, they are neat. So which means, as Faith Agro Input is the one-stop center for the best seed, best crop protection uh, recommendation, and the best crop nutrition. So we have all the fertilizers, all the chemicals to control, and then above all, we, we select the best seeds for our growers thank you so much uh for those who have not yet subscribed please go and sub sub just subscribe follow uh just place uh, your finger on that thumb uh, just uh, go and click on that notification bell uh, you'll be notified that we have uploaded something new on the farm chief youtube channel we are still at our demonstration garden this is cabbage farming uh, we've talked about the three types of uh, cabbage there's three a uh, variety of cabbages and this is blue dennis uh, we have Oxe, Oxelas, Oxelas, and we're going to uh, starting handling Victoria F1. F1. Still, now, Victoria F1. You know, in, in Uganda, when you talk of Victoria, what comes in your in your mind is the biggest lake in East mm, Africa. Lake Victoria. And actually, it is right uh, behind this building because we are right at the center or the heart or the source of the Nile. Mm. And the source of the Nile is characterized by the vicinity of Lake Victoria. Now there we are, we have Cabbage Victoria F1. Now with Cabbage Victoria F1, unlike... What does this F1 mean? Because I'm seeing F1 there is, is F1. There is uh, F1. You know, F1. In, in science language, we call, we call, there is something we call filial generation. Filial generation. Filial generation. Yes. Mm. There is a, a filial generation one, there is filial generation two. Filial generation three is a bit <laughs> troublesome. Mm. Let's not go there. We are interested with the farmer. <laughs> <All right. laughs> the farmer may not be able to derive what the F1 stands for. Mm. But uh, Victoria F1, it's a very good fresh market uh, cabbage that it is quick maturing, very sweet taste, yeah? very sweet taste, mm. and uh, uniform head formation. Uniform head formation. Yes. Just like Blue Dynasty, Victoria is also a cabbage that you, you can harvest and transport for two weeks, reach the market, and then it appears as if it was harvested in the yes, morning. Okay. Yeah? So it is also one of the best varieties. But unlike Blue Dynasty, Victoria is very quick maturing. How many days? It is 75 days. So it is, Victoria matures two weeks earlier uh, to Blue Dynasty. than Blue Dynasty. So now as you see it here, it is now 60 days. It has made, today, today is the first, mm. it has made exactly 60 days. So we still have 14 days to, to harvest. And then after, after 60 days, you can even harvest after seven days. Because when you look at it, for it, it, it covers once mm. so that you have a uniform head formation. And then, so in other words, it guarantees you 
uh, stable and uh, instant access to the market. Very resistant to diamond backbone, the famous Kaojolo, though somehow uh, susceptible to black rot. Now, black rot is a matter of controlling. How do we control black rot? Number one, ensure that you don't enter your garden when the leaves are wet. Number two, endeavor to mulch so that you prevent the, 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 the splashes of rain, splashes or water for irrigation from splashing on the what? On the leaves. Then number three, we use the copper-based fungicide to control the spread or contain the spread of uh, black rot. But remember, black rot has no treatment. I want to assure, to, to tell our viewers this way, don't be cheated that ah, my cabbage has cassandra, I'll have to get treatment, mm -hmm. there is no treatment. For cassandra, we control. We ensure that we suppress this bacteria so that it does not show up. Even if it has to show up, let it show up when we are almost harvesting. Mm. Yes. So there are cases, because in most cases, now how do we the characters, how do we the, the identify that our cabbage is suffering from black rot? You find that the outer leaves burning. You may think that somebody was burning fire, mm -hmm. uh, weeds become around dry, you. Become they become brown dry and brown in color. They don't form heads. Yeah? And you know, if you are not careful, it might lead to a total loss. So as Faith Agro inputs, remember, how, uh, the key to success in cabbage growing, number one, choose the right seed. Choose the right seed? Yes, key whereby... To success in yes. cabbage farming? Choose the right seed, yeah. follow the right agronomical practices. Follow the right agronomical processes? And in, in, in agronomical practices, the key one, there is what, what I normally refer to our farmers as a disease triangle. A disease triangle is like a sumbusa, mm. whereby down here we have the pathogen, on the side, we have the uh, uh, alternate host. The other side, we have conducive environment. In the middle, we have the disease. So now, our objective is to ensure that these, these edges do not join to form a perfect triangle. Because whenever they join, the pathogen becomes a disease. And once the pathogen becomes a disease, it becomes very difficult and costly for a farmer to contain it. So now, what, is the, uh, what are the recommendations? Number one, Ensure that you spray in time. I've talked of copper-based fungicide. Mm. As faith, we recommend copper nodox. Copper nodox. Yes, copper nodox. It is very uh, economical, cheap, and versatile and efficient. Mm. Now, cheap in the sense that one kilo, you are able to mix forty spray pumps from one kilo. Of twenty kilo of twenty. Liters? Of twenty liters. Now, that spray, the spray interval should be strictly uh, sev seven days. There are cases where you've sprayed and then it rains, say now the rain has washed off. With the Nodox, that one does not happen. Because Nodox is formulated in such a way that it has granules that attach to the leaf of the, the, the plant. Whereby any slight water that comes on the leaf, it melts this granule and then offers protection for what? For our leaves. Then number two, ensure that you scout and control the insect pest. The major insect species are number one is snail. Mm. I remember with the snail, yeah? snail we have like two, like two major uh, ways to combat it. Number one, we can, as we are using copper-based fungicide, it also scares off the snails. Mm. Number two, we can use baking soda. Baking, baking soda, soda or baking powder. Yeah? These ones for making mandas. Mm. You just sprinkle around the garden like this hey. yeah, to act as a, a, a repellent for the water for the snails without using even chemicals. Then number three for, for diamond back moth, we use a chemical called uh, em emaron. emaron. Emaron is a combination of uh, emamectin, benzoate and lufnuron. You spray once, it has a, a contact, yeah, it, it has a killing effect. And then a repellent on the, most, on the, on the butterflies, on the adult uh, butterflies that come to lay the eggs. With that, and remember, as I said earlier, the last and the key one, avoid working in your garden when the leaves are, do, are, wet. are wet. That is the free medicine, but very costly if violated. Then above all, remember to select the right variety 
for, for your market because all, every market welcomes a specific variety. If you have the, the nearest market, fresh market, the ideal variety is Oxilas F1. Mm. Long distance markets, and I'm doing in uh, Chitogo, in a water catchment area, the Blue perfect Dynasty. variety is Blue Dynasty. Victoria can, can, can cover on both sides because number one it is very sweet the darling on the market mm. and then yeah. highly the economical so therefore my dear farmers within three months and you have money in your pocket remember as faith agro inputs we always talk of big five now what do we mean by big five there is tomato ours number one mm. there is a what there is a onion as our number two there is watermelon number three, there is green pepper number four, and cabbage what? Number five. Right. So let's say if you have little money and you want to start venturing into farming, you can begin with the cabbage. Now we sell the process from cabbage and then probably venture into watermelon. Then from watermelon you can now go to either onions or tomatoes. So th this is how this is what we mean by money economy. Mm. Thank you so much, Mr. Ambrose, the director of Faith Agro Inputs. Of course, I think you've got whichever thing you need on which and the variety is suitable in a place where you are according to the weather conditions where you are located. He has told us that you can use the Blue Dynasty for those it's very suitable for those who are near uh, the swamps. Yeah, you can use that Blue Dynasty uh, for those who have the nearby market. The, the those ones who are far markets, far who market are long blue distance blue. market, blue dinners, the nearest market eh, is Oxilas. Oxilas. Mm. So till then, we want to uh, thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching us. For those who have not yet subscribed, please just subscribe, click on that notification bell and each and everything will be well. Till then, uh, uh, you...